wow. Some of these words I'm not familiar with. Uh, through diet, spiritual exercise, spirit, and physical exercise. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for this. Um, uh, hippocampus? I never heard of that. Uh, so I don't know. You have to tell me what all that is. Remember, I'm just a country boy. Uh, this is Mother Nature Heals. Love that name. Love that icon, Dr. Morris. In uh, 111 Part 5, my question started on Part 2, so detailed was missed. Sorry about that. My sister is an islet cell transplant. I read that. Uh, she doesn't... I'm, I'm just kind of, when I'm going over these things, if I can read it ahead of time, I'm good. If I don't, I'm not. Because uh, some of these are kind of lengthy. I, I want to get to right to the core issue there, so I apologize if I miss that. Um, I have others in here that's islet transplant, and I find oh, incredible. And I'd wonder what success rate they have out of islet transplants, because so far the people come, coming to me as those that I haven't had success with them. So I wonder how many people are having success. Again, here's the problem, though. This lady had an islet transplant, and yet her problem, remember I told you about her, about uh, post-surgery, after four surgeries on the knee, that the anesthesia had suppressed her nervous system to the point where it suppressed beta cell production of insulin. They did not understand that and did an islet transplant. Didn't work. So now that we've got her nervous system back in and getting a state of health and everything, things are working better for her. She's starting to, uh, to, to even impact those new islets or beta cells. I think it's, it, it, it's the worst thing that we head to surgery too quick, and this is an example of that, when we can regenerate the human body. So again, this is uh, part of that. She doesn't take insulin anymore after 25 years. Good. So maybe the surgery was a success. That is great. However, she is getting more toxic from the anti-rejection drugs. Well, there's a certain point where I think you don't need the anti-rejection drugs to me. And the body either accepts those islets or it doesn't. It accepts those tissue after a while. I think that all has to do with the whole package of how you accept things. Also, I think in the detoxification where you're cleaning out these toxins, I think that's all beneficial too. I used to think maybe detoxification would actually uh, remove remove transplanted tissues because, uh, but again, the body only removes that which is inferior and that which is not a part of its uh, physiology. And so, you know, you'll have to see how that is. I would, uh, if I was doing this, I would probably be, uh, of course, getting my body in a state of health and that, and the audits have to come along with that. And then at the same time, I would strengthen my nervous systems just to make sure that you weren't a victim of, of that. But if, if the islets were successful, then probably had some beta cell problems. At the same time, what broke them down? And I would definitely keep going after that lymphatic system and, um, you know, and, and seeing if I could wean down off of those. If it was me, that's what I would attempt to do. You have to do whatever you feel in your heart is right. Uh, for me, I would definitely be trying to wean off to see if my body would accept those tissues. At a certain point, you've got to say they accept those tissues, and then you're in good shape. By suppressing your immune system all the time is, not, is counterproductive to wellness. So you want to work through that in some way or another there. Titration is always uh, smart whenever you're trying to accomplish these things. She is dehydrated and anemic. Her doctor is mainstream, of course. Any suggestions? Well, absolutely. I mean, just because you have an eyeless transplant, you go after health. You go after health in the way we're talking about. You go after the kidneys. You go after your adrenals. You start hydrating your body. You st that's all acidosis. So you want to, that's, that's the lymph. And of course, that's what breaks down cells. So you uh, want to go after now the cause of these things. And, and then I think your body will accept that, make it a part of the pancreas, and everybody's good. I think you'll be okay there. But I've had other people, uh, multiple organ transplants, high on these detox programs, never had a problem one. So just you have to kind of work with that and see how you do with that. But titration would be a, be a good idea. It would be nice if these docs would help us in these type of situations, knowing the uh, effect of these uh, immunosuppressors and, and the fact that if you can get off of them, that would be the cat's meow. And certainly uh, by getting the tissues healthy uh, all, all through the body, and then those tissues issues are going to come along with it and everybody should be good and you you probably have a good chance of getting off of them uh, they say she's doing best they know of but it leaves her throwing up four days a week 
Yeah, I'd definitely work myself off of them if it was me, no question about it. Trust in your body and trust in everything like that and and, and and don't even have a negative thought about it. Have a positive thought so all energy's flowing even through the new islets, flowing through your whole body like that. Everybody's in one, everybody's accepting, everything's good. Do it from a spiritual viewpoint too and I think you'll be very successful. Dr. Morris, this is... Uh, uh, I'm stupid for uh, eleven four. Oh, uh, you're not stupid. That's your name. I, I am. That's pretty. I don't know. I just got turned on to your videos, and I am now planning on growing a nice uh, big fruit and vegetable farm. Yeah, smart person right there. I love that. I want some fruit off of your trees. I have one question though. In your videos, you talk about detox and stuff. I want to build muscle and become physically fit as well, but you you say stay away from proteins. Exactly, what vegetables should I be eating at night? Well, I think it's always great to detoxify as much as you can first. That way, you're correcting malabsorption, any digestive problems, all the acidosis out of the body. You're going to correct all that, any kidney weakness, the adrenals. Everybody, go for that first. Then, then you can shift to your greens. I'm an alfalfa freak, so pump alfalfa, alfalfa juice, alfalfa sprouts, uh, all that's good. Uh, pack up on your salads if you want. Uh, avocados are great, things like that. You can use the greens to pack up strong muscles if you want. If you're going to build up, definitely build up with the strong muscles. I don't know if this book is uh, back out again. Um, where is it here? Oh, wow. It's getting covered up with all those beautiful cards and everything. This is uh, Arlen, Stephen Arlen. I thought this book was out of print. Uh, How to build muscles on your vegetables and fruits and stuff. But you want to first make sure you're digesting, you're absorbing your nutrition correctly. And all of that. You, that's why it's important just to focus on the health first. Don't worry about that. And then as you start opening all these doors, you can put on muscles properly. You won't acidify the body. You'll bring on nice strong muscles, but you'll have the flexibility. You won't have a stiff body. You get to keep the kidneys and everybody's good. That, that's how I would do it. And I think that's how Stephen Arlen and a lot of the other people that are building up good muscles uh, get over the idea that you want to be a packer because you know what? There's it only lends to itself to really serious problems in the future. Um, you can ask almost any bodybuilder, and it's unbelievable. Remember that great big, I've never seen muscles like this. It, 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 they popped, and now it's, it's not pretty, and not pretty at all. I mean, these poor people, they do that. But head down that way, and uh, congratulations. And I'm stupid. That doesn't fit you. You're not stupid. That doesn't fit you. You're, you're a smart fella here. I can see that already. This is son of the system. <laughs> I like son of the system. Wow. Wow. I had some trouble with my eyes. I was almost a year ago. I watched a movie in 3D. Whoa, 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 whoa. While watching the movie, I got a headache, and the next day I was dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. And couldn't watch a new movie because my eyes didn't work as you. Wow, that's scary. That's freaking scary right there. Oh. That's yeah, the first time I've heard anything like that. That's really scary. Wow. I can't easily describe what was going on, but my eyes couldn't stay focused on the screen. I felt the same for two weeks, but then it got better. Now, many months later, I still have dry and strained eyes. This makes much of what I like to do more difficult. If I focus my eyes on what I'm playing on my guitar, yeah, my eyes get dry and so on. I've been to doctors and they said they can't help me. I've tried water fasting, a few herbal teas, eating only fruits. I've tried some remedies, but nothing has work really. All I do now is eye exercises and breathing techniques to relax the eye muscles. Okay, so here goes. I wonder if you can share with me anything. Absolutely. Oh, thanks. Uh, thanks to you, uh, Mattis, 19-year-old Swede. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for your comments. Listen, I'd get the eye wash and I'd start washing my eyes at least twice a day with the eye wash morning and night. Uh, get, get a little eye cup if you don't have them. We sell them here for a couple bucks. A little eye wash, real handy. Get you some skin temperature water in there. Go start with six drops, work up to about 12 to 15 drops in there. Wash your eyes out. Now, you're going to really promote blood and lymph flow doing that. At the same time, get upper circulation and the new brain and nerve formula. That's going to shove blood all up in the eye tissue, brain tissue, and the new nerve, brain and nerve formula is going to strengthen that optic nerve and it's going to strengthen the nerves that, that filter and the rods and cones. It's going to really strengthen 
strengthen all that up. At the same time, I'd really be honking on my lymph system because whenever you start to see dry eyes and stuff like that, you're very acidic in these areas. And this is the thing is that generally maybe this 3D wouldn't hurt an average person, but you could be highly backed up in your lymph system in your eye and just tick you over that, that realm, just took you over the fence there. So I would definitely clean up my GI tract, go after my kidneys, go after my adrenals, really build that up and move that lymph and get yourself to drain. Try to have cold and flus. If you want to take a little remedy, get, pop my ear candle, use ear candles, three, two or three per ear, really start pulling all this lymph out of there so these acids will come out of there. Same time use that eye wash uh, and uh, there's all kinds of things. We got other formulas here with raw eye tissue, Stuff like that. I know it sounds gross, but uh, some of these things, when you get uh, hurt yourself real bad, sometimes these things will help you tremendously. But I think the upper circuit brain and nerve will really instigate some good new nerve performance there for you. At the same time, I'd use the eye wash, and at the same time, I'd be detoxifying that lymph system, my man. All right, thank you. Keep playing on that guitar. How can we get a good photo of the iris? Good question. I've had them in here from cell phones, and I've had crappy ones. Uh, ophthalmologists, uh, they, a lot of them take excellent pictures up close. Uh, some iridologists have good cameras, some iridologists don't have good cameras. Uh, you just have to, to feel your way through that. Uh, ophthalmologists is where I send people or iridologists. I think every iridologist should have a camera and, and get people excited about looking at the eyes and what the eyes have to offer without getting too far out on, on tangents. German iridology, uh, sometimes you get too far out on a tangent. When you look at someone's eyes and say, well, you've been on a vacation for a couple of weeks, I see it in your eyes, that's too far out. So really keep it civilized, keep it normal, because remember, we're trying to show the world that our science is viable, our science is ethical, our science is science, our science are based on fact. And, 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 and we are a, a powerful modality to deal with, and our results are incredible. That's what we're here to show the world. If we get too kicky, too far out, then you start losing these intellectuals, which is okay, but at the same time, we want to show stability. We want to show strength. We want to show we're God people. We're here with truth, honesty, and integrity. We're here to heal the world. We're here to make the world happy. We're here to put, put smiley faces on 100 trillion cells in the human body and one big cell on the human body. And that's what we're here to do. And we're going to walk with ethics, but we're also not going to take your crap anymore. So that's kind of where we're at and where we need to be. We need to be a strong force to be reckoned with based on science, based on factual science, not, not, not hypothetical theories that have no basis there. When it comes to theories, you can hack them and you can look at them, but keep them as non-factual until you know the facts of the case. All right, I got to run. So... Uh, thank you so much uh, for everything, and we shall talk to you as soon as we can. Love you all, and may the blessings be. Have all kinds of fun today, and uh, have a good piece of fruit, berry, or melon on me. Uh, those of you who've been here, uh, my friends from Switzerland, uh, you've seen what this area has for you. Zit for good fruit. See ya.